Nathan Adams and Jim Hughes just wrapping things up for our high school football game of the night. And what a fantastic one here at Marshall. And it came all the way down to an extra point as time expired as the Panthers of Parma Western pick up a 14-13 win over the Marshall Red Hawks on a night where they celebrated the 10-year anniversary of their state championship. What a game. I mean, we talk about action-packed football. We had it here this evening. Not a lot of scoring, but man, a lot of action. Penalties, fumbles, I mean, it, it was all there. Everything it just kind of fell into place into one of those classic games. Not a lot of scoring in the first half. We were knotted up at seven at the half. Marshall pulled ahead 13 to seven. They would mix, uh, miss the extra point with about nine minutes left in that third quarter. But then the game just took a hard shift Marshall had four, count them, four opportunities to kill the clock in the final six minutes. It involved an interception, two fumbles, and it gave Parma Western one more opportunity with a minute left at the Marshall's 27-yard line. And with three seconds left, a touchdown pass from sophomore quarterback Nolan Wheeler to Landon French would knock the game up at 13 points apiece. And then the extra point was all Parma Western needed. Yeah, and they got a penalty on that, an illegal procedure. They moved the ball back five yards. They do the extra kick. And what ended up happening, they walk away 14 to 13. But I will say this, Marshall really had this football game. All they had to do was time management, hold on to the football, get a first down, because they basically got Parma Western to use up all of their timeouts and all they had to do was just game management, and they were unable to do that this evening. And that extra point for Marshall, after their second touchdown, not getting that, it came back to bite them, and they lost this game here this evening. And for the third time this year, Marshall has lost by one point, and a total of 10 points this year. That's right, 10 over three games. But a great night overall, though. Ezra McAllister getting a touchdown reception from Cody Schellenberger from 31 yards out. The other score, Thalen Taylor from 32 yards out on the ground. He ran for 111 yards tonight. So overall, teams were very balanced, very even. It was just a determination of five turnovers from the Red Hawks. And you can't win football games with turnovers. I don't care what anybody says. You cannot do that. And I'll tell you the other thing, too, that I was impressed with Parma Western they brought up a junior varsity young man by the name of Nolan Ryan. I'm sorry, Nolan Ryan. Ryan. <laughs> yeah, that was Nolan good. Wheeler. Norm Wheeler. <laughs> and Nolan Wheeler, number 11, he did a great job of stepping in there as a sophomore, and he was able to lead the charge, making the completed pass at the end when Lee, the cornerback for Marshall, lost his balance, and that's how they got the touchdown with that three seconds to go. Yep, and uh, Western also had uh, Landon Raskowski, who ran a lot of Wildcat. He ran 46 times for 111, uh, 117 yards and a touchdown filling in for that role. Tyler Pape is normally the starting quarterback, Central Michigan verbal commit. He was out with a high ankle sprain, and the backup was also out with a high ankle sprain. So a lot of injuries for the Panthers heading into tonight's contest. Great game, and we, we enjoyed it. Well, at 5-2, and two, actually now 6-2 and two for Western, they uh, have clinched their postseason ticket for the fourth year in a row. Marshall now 4-4. Four and four. A lot of other scores are scrolling down below. And next week, we make our way back into town, and it's Lakeview and Harper Creek in a non-conference battle. Week 9, and then Sunday, they're going to be announcing the playoffs. So we're going to finish on a great note here with Harper Creek and Lakeview you got to join us next week. All right, we'll do it all again next week. Don't forget, all the scores right here. And check us out at 953wbck.com and our WBCK app. Download it today for free. Just search it in your app store. We'll see you again next week from Lakeview. Yeah, Lakeview. Good night, everybody. See ya.